I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A teenager recovering in Clinton Township after he was dragged more than a block and robbed just outside his house. It happened Saturday night near Canal and Romeo Plank. The boy's father tells us he was attempting to meet up with someone he met on Snapchat to buy a cell phone charger for $5. The teen didn't get a good look at the suspect given that it was dark out, but his son believes the car is a dark colored four door sedan, possibly an older Cadillac. Anyone with information should call Clinton Township Police. With rain expected, experts are concerned about the chemicals that are leaking onto I-696. Now, focus is being placed on the plant responsible for the green liquid. Crews working inside the building installing sump pumps, among other efforts, to prevent the rain from pushing those chemicals into the groundwater and sewages. Stay with 7 Action News online at WXYZ.com for the latest on this story. And a suspected drunk driver is behind bars after nearly hitting an officer with their car. It happened just after midnight during a traffic stop on Telegraph near a bridge over River Raisin. We're told the driver nearly hit a police car, swerved onto the sidewalk, then almost hit an officer and two other people. And that police officer, well, he pushed those two people out of the way. Now, police say the driver took off on North Custer Road and eventually drove onto a yard. That is where the suspect was arrested for operating while intoxicated. Second offense, as well as fleeing and eluding. Now let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. We are expecting some big changes once again. Well advertised rain will arrive as we go into your Monday morning. So tonight into Monday morning, temps will start off at around 52, but they drop from the morning to the afternoon. We'll be starting at 31 degrees on Tuesday, 33 for a high. We'll also have some snow showers that are going to move through, making for a slick commute around New Year's Eve to New Year's Day. Those are your headlines. Remember, you can always go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a great day.